This is the gullet? I had not realized. The Mataru are supposed to take care of those below. This does not resemble care to me. Let us... Let us go on. Please! I did nothing! Enough! Or do you wish to consign her to the old city as well? Let him go! Beer! I'm sorry! Uh... Your tongue flops like a dying fish. I tire of its stink. Lower him down! May Tangaloa devour your souls, you cold-blooded eels. What crime could he have committed to deserve such a fate? Be careful. The gullet is no place for outsiders. Was taking Bataro not enough for you? Bataro is gone. Dead. What more do you want? Forgive me. I thought you were with the guards who took him. Other castes never visit here. Do the gods pay a visit to mock my misfortune? Or is Sacred Stair overcrowded? Ah, forgive the intrusion. I was... we were just leaving. That is, giving you space to grieve. So many crowd into the gullet and you worry about space. <laughs> my village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Bataro is punished already, I say. Whatever offense he gave, do not hang it on our necks. <laughs> we say the only thing that live in these depths are ghost eels. And fish eaten by ghost eels. Which are you? The traitors say they bring riches in their big ships. But what reaches the gullet? Only crime and sickness, I say. <laughs> that is only the start. The Rawatayans promise marvels, strong walls, and plenty for all. Akira, still my back aches from building their fort, and still I live here. And Bataro said we would finally leave. It is only another word. Outsiders cover our islands with walls and gates. Many Huana come to Nekataka, but even here, the outsiders crowd us. In the villages, the chieftains know even the Roparu. Here, even neighbors are strangers. That is Deadfire now. I only want to be free of this place. That is how the trouble started. I heard a Rawatayan captain took up at the tavern. Suduzo, they call her. They say she is a traitor, so I thought maybe she will take passengers. But Tara went and found her in the tavern. Next I see him. The guards are dragging him to the cage. Do not blunt your teeth on careless words. They say many Rawatine captains are women. Maybe her ears will open better to you. Bataro took some coin. Everything he scraped together working on the docks. And he went to bargain with the captain. I would offer it to you, but it is probably in the old city with Bataro. Or in someone else's pocket. Many ships leave from Queen's birth. But the Valians take slaves. They say the Principes smuggle goods in the caverns below, but I cannot trust such people. But the Rawatayans have mighty cannons, and a big homeland they abandon for ours. Perhaps there is more room for us there. I tell you, I do not know where it is, and I am sure it would be little to someone like you. After what happened, Bataro would sooner have thrown it into the waters than given it to the Mataru or the Rawatayans. If it is anywhere, it is surely with his body. We are six, three children, two babes, and me. Akira. It was so in the village, where Bataro and me came from. 
But here, we are all strangers. No one looks in on the sick or cares for the children. I could never ask someone to go down to the old city, but since you offer, it is a big and dangerous place. But perhaps he hid himself. Perhaps. Please help him if you can. Or bring me news if you cannot. Seduzo. They say she is a traitor, so I thought maybe she will take passengers. But she threw Bataro out. Always Bataro was careful with his words, especially as a Raparu. But a Raparu in Nekataka gives offense just by breathing the air of his betters. Some of these fights we've been in bailed me out more than once. You'd do the same for any of us. Don't tell, but I try harder for the ones I like better. It is rare to see one so honored in the gullet. To the old city, Ikira. A god's cursed ruin filled with walking corpses and abominations of the deep. How can you consign your fellow woman or man to this fate? We punish only those who cause trouble. Begging your pardon for my tone, sir. How may I assist you? For Taro? He associated with foreign criminals. I cannot be certain about Biha, so I let her go. But I will be watching her. And this is punishable by death, or worse? That it is. These wicked sorts overrun the gullet and corrupt the Raparu. Our justice must be swift and firm. Hers is the first house you come to. Just there. You will probably find her there. It is a dangerous place, but if you wish to go, it is no business of mine to stop you. The guard will let you pass, though I urge you to reconsider. I will keep the lift down there for you, for when you change your mind, the city. Each layer of Nekataka is more pungent than the last. Nice and quiet. I shall be discreet. The sheriff will come soon.
Come along now. I'll guide you through the wheel. Hey there. <laughs> I see where you're going. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Of course. I only hoped. It is no matter. Thank you. For telling me. You and the captain traveled together all that time, but never... No, that's, uh, not how things played out. Just never saw it that way. Ngati weeps for such wasted potential. You see that? your business with me? The one who threatened me. I shall not soon forget him. These Juana learn too many pretty words from the Valians. You cannot trust what they say. We had pretty words before the first ship landed on Rawatai. Yes, but did you speak them with such deceitful intent? This fellow wanted passage on my ship. As if I were the village ferryman. I told him there was none to be had. Certainly not at his price. He told me he had coin. Lots of it. I did not believe him. How could a man who lives in a garbage heap have enough money for passage? So you assumed the worst and threw him to the wolves? No, you presumptuous Adirin. I assumed nothing until I saw the swollenette. A marked coin, a token of allegiance. The Principi carry them. I knew then that I was dealing with a pirate. I had heard they were influential in the gullet, but I did not realize how much so. I called for the guards and they dragged him away. That is the last I saw of him. There's nothing I can do. The passenger quarters have been reserved by a dwarf named Orin. Why do you bring this to me? What did remorse ever accomplish? Besides, this Bataro brought trouble on himself. Yes, he should have known how to behave around civilized people. <laughs> that must be the first time I've ever heard civil speech in the gullet. Very well. I could take three more in the hold, and no more. Orin and his crew have reserved the berths. I will already have to abandon crates of cargo to make room for these three. Plus, the food and water they require. Send them to me. The sooner we leave, the better. And I told you there is none. The three I agreed to take will barely fit in the hold as it is. He and his people are gold-packed knights. Orin is... <laughs> particular. Perhaps that is good. He just finished a contract to guard the Valian Luminous Mill. I hear Anamancers are also particular. He's upstairs. Just do not interrupt him if he's arranging things. Hey there. I see where you're going with this. What do you require? Indeed. The good captain has four adequate berths, all equally sized, all facing the same direction. And she's promised to leave promptly. A most agreeable arrangement. Out of the question. We're due in Tokoa for another contract, and the client has already paid the advance. And we have already paid Seduzo. I couldn't possibly take back the same coins I have already spent. That will not do. That will not do at all. To Queen's birth, quickly. We must find a more suitable ship. What 
does your business with me? That is convenient for you. But never mind. If there's trouble, I'm staying out of it. The births are paid for. You can send your friends as long as you promise not to make trouble for me. Just do it soon. I don't want any mess you've made to spill onto my decks. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the- That much copper would only bring suspicion. Besides, maybe Suduza will accept it in exchange for passage. What say, then? Her watcher sure is something else, ain't she? Darnation, you're gonna make me cry myself. May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. say Bia did right leaving the gullet. She went what she needed. I'll miss Bia and her elk. It's too quiet without them. May they go find fortune. What say you, girl? I see much and many things. I simply do not look with these eyes in the same manner that others do. I have heard much as well. People speak of your kindness, watcher who chases Aethas. I also hear the Raparu's heartbeat grown thready and pained. Now a watcher comes to the gullet, as Amira has shown me you would. At least piety can thrive in this dark and unforgiving burrow. That sea-swept voice. One of Andra's own comes to visit me at last. The Raparu are being crushed from the top. We starve so slowly, it is an agony. Starving? Are the gods so occupied that they cannot see inside the mountain? No one deserves to suffer. Not like this. This is the Huana way. The fish of our nets are drawn for the tribe. The fruit of our fields, too, is reaped for the tribe. And the coin of our pockets belongs not to one, but to all. All spoils are gifted to the whole of the tribe. The tribe then partakes from the top down, from the most deserving to the least. It is the way of life. The dawn stars would feed us, but the guards forbid them to pervert the order of sharing. There was a man who helped us, a soft-hearted pirate named Ulug. He worked with the Principe captain, Mad Morena, they call her, to bring us food from the black market. But for days now, We've had nothing. Ulug was never late with his shipments. Always very conscientious. A good boy. For him to disappear for several days without word. He must be dead. The Queen refuses to increase our share of the prize share. Without Ulug's shipments, we will surely starve. Onakaza will listen. Her concern holds this island together. Perhaps you can achieve what those of my caste cannot. Gain us favor with the Crown. If we cannot convince the Mataru nor the Principi, 
I believe the Dawn Stars may help us. Peatley is a child of the Dawn Stars and has become the Gullet's most cherished healer. Speak, and I will listen. Who, if you keep tugging on that, I fear you'll pull it clean off. My tentacles enjoy a good tug. I try not to take them by surprise <laughs> after last time. Need something? We tried. But the one away is prize share, meaning anything we'd give these people has to go through the palace. Akira, it is for the Ranga and the Mataru to feed the tribe. Best I can tell, our food went to the Queen's table, assuming it didn't rot in the storehouse first. You got their best interests at heart, I know. That's a question for Sawin. I'd ask her myself, but I should stick close in case any more sick Rapaos show up. She's High Priestess at the Temple of Gong. It is the light that has led you here. You did good, helping Pete Lee with the infected. Anyone half so capable's got my ear. We tried. Shipped some shares for charity. God, it's nearly two years back. Had the means to do some real good. But the guards wouldn't have it. Sent it all to the palace to be shared out, proper-like. Never did see it again. Of course. We'd be glad to lend a hand. But how you see our shares reach the Ruparu this time? What makes you think it'll work now when it didn't then? All right. You wind up in the good graces of the Kahanga Royals, you get them to see the light, and I'll get you our food. What say? Shortage. Are the Raparu not fed the leavings of the Quaru and Mataru? It is no wonder how Delver's Row won the love of my people, I say. By feeding them when we could not. Find us solutions instead of old problems, I say. My sister would call this a test from the gods. It is our role to feed the Raparu and we do not pass on our duties to outsiders. But I am of a different mind. Nothing pleases Ngati like an unlikely solution, and this is what you bring. Akira, then let it be so. If you have more to say, I am not above listening. I heard of missionaries distributing food throughout the gullet. 
though I did not think it could be true. Not in this lifetime could I have hoped for more. To have garnered our Queen's generosity. I ache to believe it. Never can I thank you enough, Watcher who has the ear of both kith and gods. Always the Raparu will know of your kindness. Should you need refuge within Nekadaka, know that the Raparu will stand by your side. May Amira's wind ever fill your sails, girl. We will not forget what you have done for us. <laughs>